Hey guys and girls, welcome back to another beautiful video on this beautiful channel, on this beautiful day. How you guys and girls doing? My god, we're back. Now today we're going to be talking about just a short little video on more on input. So we talked about input in a earlier tutorial, tutorial 1 or 2, uh, I guess, the, the second video at least. Um, and then what we did was we got some sin, C in sorry we got a variable we stored some stuff from the keyboard in these variables and then we printed it out right that's what we did now we're gonna do just about the same thing but mix a few things together so you're gonna be like hmm all right this is kind of interesting because we learned about string in this video right we learned about a string which has a bunch of different type of characters in it and we're gonna be getting a whole string of text from the keyboard into a variable uh, in this video so what you want to do is from the last tutorial just comment everything out make a new cpp file like this and we'll be getting ready to code so what we're gonna need is this code right here this is the basic this is what you're gonna start with in most of your programs you're gonna have a main and you're probably gonna include iostream for now uh, to get stuff in and out from the keyboard to the screen and from the, the computer to yeah, whatever, two variables and whatever, all that stuff. But you're probably going to need it. So we're going to use that. And then we're going to be able to, or we're going to use a string as well. If I can spell string. There we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a std string variable. And we're going to call it uh, a line. We're just going to call it line uh, or sentence. Sentence. And then we're going to say equals nothing in the start it's just empty you could just make two empty quotation marks like this to say that it's empty and then you're probably gonna want to do this uh, we're gonna do just a simple test we're gonna say C out excuse me STD C out sentence all right and we're gonna say a uh, new line and then it's probably just gonna be empty right we're gonna be using system pause as well just for this video right here um, and boom so now we're gonna be printing out something and it's gonna be empty if I type something in here just a bunch of things and run the program we're probably gonna get a print of that so let's see uh, we got the whole line just just as I formatted it with all the spaces and everything everything like that it came out just as we did right now if I put a new line character in here and then I keep typing some stuff. You don't even need the space actually. Just just put it in here. Whatever. And then we run it. You're going to see a new line just where I put that character. So the computer recognizes it in there, right? So that's a way you can like predefine stuff and write a bunch of code and stuff like that. If you just do this like that, that's not going to work, right? It's not going to be good at all. Uh, so just remember that. That's a cool little thing you can remember. Now, if I want to get something from the keyboard in to the sentence, I'm going to use std sin. Yep, you guessed right. std sin, c in, sorry, sentence. And I'm just going to do that. And I'm going to tell the user what the, the computer is expecting. So c out, uh, please enter a cool sentence, bro bro sis because we're not you know we, we cater to every type of gender here uh, there we go or in between whatever so so everyone's in the game all right and then we say sentence and if you don't use the new line here it's gonna ask for a sentence right after this so I'm pretty sure that's gonna be yeah it's right after here right so if I say hello I am a cool person and it's just gonna type out hello uh, because I'm using sin that's a really good thing to remember all right so I'm gonna explain why this just happened um, so it told me if, if we do a new line let me just show you what that does a new line then it's gonna expect a input underneath this thing see like that so it's a little different if you, it depends on how you want it to look basically but what just happened 
why did we just get the hello part? Not everything else we wrote. Why didn't everything get stored in sentence? That's actually sin, cin's fault, and this input operator. So this whole thing is gonna run until it comes upon a a space, a white space character. Then it's gonna divide it into something else. So let me explain that. If we have two integers, int i equals zero, int a equals uh, zero, whatever, and we want to do this. Let me just remove this for now. All of this, and I'm gonna show you this. So this is gonna help you uh, understand this thing. STD C out. Enter two two numbers, bro, or whatever. You know what I mean? Yeah, we'll just do this. It's too complicated. Uh, and then we're gonna say STD sin because it's a stream. You can put several things in here, like I showed you before. I and A. Now, how does the computer know? what data is going into which one of these so the first thing is going to come into i it's going to ask for i well what divides the first number with the second number well a white space right so if i do this if i just say enter two numbers two enter 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 it's going to wait for the second number three and then it's going to end so if i'm going to type these out actually std c out your numbers are I, a space, and a new line. So let me show you. So it waited. You can spam enter. It's not going to matter. So 34, spam, 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 56. So 34 and 56. So that's one divider between these two. And if I do a space, we're going to get the same thing. It divided it with the space. But if I write one whole number, obviously you don't know where the first number is and where the second number is. You have to give it a space or an enter for it to know. So that's why cin doesn't work for a long like sentence type of thing because um, it's not gonna, you know, it doesn't really, it, it takes this space as a divider. So it just takes hello and then it divides it and it's waiting for another string, but there is no other string in the stream. So it just ends it. Uh, so what we wanna do, is we want to use something instead of cin we're going to use something called a get line now the way this works is it takes the whole line until you press an enter symbol right so we're we want to do cin and we want to do it into sentence. don't freak out i'll explain all of this so this means what does this mean since we can write from we can we can write something out to a file and in from a file and in from the keyboard to the computer and from the computer to the screen like there's different types of input output right there's from file and there is uh, from from keyboard to computer like all that stuff so we need to tell it what type of output or input stream we want to use now C in is for the keyboard so this is saying okay get a line from the keyboard into the sentence okay there's other ways to do this we can make an input operator for a file so it's going to get a line from this file into this sentence so if you have a file with a bunch of sentences this is a good way to load uh every line from a file for example but you just need to tell it that okay i don't want to read from the file i want to read from keyboard or vice versa right so so this is from the keyboard to the sentence i talk too much now what's going to happen my dudes and girls and everything in between we're gonna be writing a real cool sentence now we're gonna do seriously here hello bros and grills I am so cool Wow look at me all all of these spaces and stuff boom look at the whole sentence look at that it was all printed out it was all printed out everything is just fine and dandy now, that's great. So now you know how to get a whole sentence with all the spaces and you know why and you know how to divide up the stream with different things. You can make you can make more stuff in here. Just remember that to divide them, you need to give a space or, or, or enter or something like that. But if I do this, let me just do this. Let me remove this. 
And let me just delete this actually. There we go. Let me do this. So we're gonna do a C in, then we're gonna do a C out. So enter two numbers. Okay, 34 and 45. Please enter a sentence, bro, sis, or in between. Oh, the program ended. What? We didn't get a chance to give our give our little uh, beautiful sentence, right? It just ended. It, it didn't ask, even though our code says here that we should be asked to get something from the keyboard. But we did not. So this is also this little thing, CN's fault, the stream operator's fault. What happens is once you give a divider here for the first number, that's fine. It's going to wait for the next number. It takes that. But the next divider you give, which is usually enter, it's going to save that in the stream, even though it's not needed. So it's just dangling in the stream in, in the background. And once it gets to this, this get line, that enter symbol in the stream is going to end this directly before you even get a chance to do anything. So it's going to come in here, enter. It's going to be like you pressed enter, but you really didn't. And it's going to end it. Because remember, get line ends with the enter, right? The new line symbol. So this CN saves something unnecessary within it, which isn't really, which isn't good. So what you want to do is you probably want to do a CN dot std uh, CN dot ignore after each, this ignores one symbol. This ignores one symbol in the stream. So it's going to ignore the last new line character that was given to end the stream. So you want to do this after every C in if, if you have a get line after. So if you have a get line after a sin, C in, you need to use C in, sin ignore. Otherwise, you're going to get that annoying behavior you just saw where it just ends the stream. So you really don't want that. You want a sin ignore. All right, but you don't need it the other way around. If I would have had this after get line, there wouldn't be, have been a problem. But the other way around is a problem. So C in before get line, make sure you use C in ignore. Because let me show you now. 24, 43, it's still asking me for all this stuff. And it let me do what I wanted to do. So guys and girls, please watch this video. This is really... If you're watching this video, I mean, just take it in because it's, it's kind of important. I hope I explained it to you in a good way. And I hope you understood this, that you can make more. You can make another type of, you can make a double here. Right? Float f equals 0, 0.0. And you can actually put it in the same stream. It doesn't matter which type it is. It's going to still ask you for it. So if I, wait, if I just print out that as well like that uh, and just like that then you'll see that it doesn't matter what type it is 23 43 55.6 it didn't matter that it was a different type the stream let me put everything in here okay now what happens if I do this if I do just do that it's still remember it's not gonna let you keep going until you give it all the numbers it wants remember that and then you can do that. Boom. So I hope you learned something from this. I hope it was a good explanation for this specific problem. Um, I hope you keep working hard. Just keep working at it. Remember, C++ looks hard from the outside. When you learn programming, it's not really that hard. It's just like playing with Legos and building stuff. So just don't worry about it too much. And just keep learning. The more you, the more you practice, the more you're going to learn, the better it's going to sink in and stuff like that. So yeah <laughs> for the last time keep working take care and i'll see you guys and girls in the next one all right bye bye